hope uh, everyone is doing good my name is avinash and in this video i'm going to take you through a uh, new vpc creation wizard all right earlier if you want to create a vpc we manually need to go to each and every step like a uh, vpc subnet root tables creating an internet gateway associating the internet gateway to vpc all these steps right so but now uh, we uh, aws has introduced uh, this vpc wizard whenever you click on create vpc you see here now we have two options one is vpc only so this is a traditional option we have used so far you gave vpc name you gave vpc cider block you select the tenancy and create vpc then go back create subnets then create root tables and all so to simplify this vpc creation aws have given vpc and more option here so you just need to choose or, or, or you just need to configure some basic options here aws will create the mentioned resources now if you want to uh, give uh, any custom vpc name you can give that you can uncheck auto generated and you can um, uh, give a name tag and all or else you click on auto generated and you give a vpc name i'm going to call this as a custom vpc or just give custom why because aws is adding vpc automatically and ipv4 uh, cider block so as you aware aws supports from slash 28 to slash 16 subnets so slash 16 is the highest one we are going to get 65536 ips but however aws is going to reserve five ip addresses one is uh, you know network id and the last one is a uh, broadcasting id and two is for dns server and one is for future usage but aws need to like you know give uh, uh, this value by removing or minusing that five in my opinion so but however so you can choose uh, a side of block i will prefer to go with the 192 series 192 0.0 i'll go with the slash 24 so we are going to get 256 ips so 251 usable ip addresses so now so if you want to provide uh, ipv6 information you can provide here but i'm good to go with uh, ipv4 and tenancy i'm going with the default tenancy if you want to create all these network and a dedicated hardware we can go and choose uh, dedicated tenancy and you see how many uh, availability zones you want to use see basically this is like you know you want to spread your resources across multiple availability zones for high availability right for that so it's better to choose minimum two aws also recommend to select a minimum two if you want you can choose more than two also so i'm going with two as a default one and which availability zones you want to use i'm in mumbai region in mumbai we have three availability zones ap south 1a 1b and 1c if you want to use 1a and 1c you go and select it i'm good to use 1a and 1b availability zones right so then how many public subnets you required and how many private subnets you required so you can even customize this uh, cider blocks if you expand this customize subnet cidr blocks and you see here aws is using slash 28 subnets if you don't want to go with the slash 28 subnets you can customize it for example i am looking for uh, around um, 50 plus ec2 instances in uh, public uh, multiple public subnets and all so then we can simply give slash 26 you know we are going to get 64 ip addresses and the second one i'm going to give uh, 64 then i'm going to use last 26 subnet for another public one when coming to private one i'm going to use 192.168.0.128 slash 26 so then the last one i'm going with 192.26 
you see here every subnet is taking 64 IP addresses if you are not sure about the subnet calculations feel free to use visual subnet calculator just go to Google and uh, search for visual subnet calculator you can find this website and uh, what cider block you want to give for your entire vpc and how many subnets you want to you, you want to create and you just divide it so slash 16 is the highest one in my case i have taken slash 24 right so it is going to give 254 they are already doing minus 2 so I want to create four subnets, so I have divided it to four parts. Right, now go back to the VPC screen and do you want to create NAT gateway? So basically NAT gateway uh, will provide internet to private subnet EC2 instances. So defaultly, private subnet EC2 instances won't have internet access right so but if you want to provide you can simply go and choose okay i want to create a nad gateway in one availability zone or you can create a nad one nad gateway for availability zone so as we are selecting two availability zones here one nad gateway will create in ap south 1a another one will create in ap south 1b do we really require one for availability zone it's not mandatory but if you are looking for high availability for um, NAT gateways then you can uh, choose one for an availability zone in my case I'm going to select none and uh, if we select um, this basically it's going to cost us it will create an elastic IP address in backend that is going to cost us and then we can go and choose VPC endpoints basically vpc endpoints it like you know it's a private link between our private subnet resources to our aws internal resource for example you have an ec2 instance in private subnet you don't have any nat gateway attached to that private subnet as we don't have nat gateway we don't get internet in that private subnet instance but somehow i want to access s3 from that private subnet ec2 instance which don't have internet in that scenario we can create an endpoint we have interface endpoint and we have gateway endpoint so if you choose s3 gateway endpoint it will create an endpoint and that endpoint will add it to uh, private subnet um, routes however i really don't require any endpoint now i can select it to none and do you want to enable dns host names and dns resolutions then select both the options and click on create vpc that's it now a vpc is going to create so even you can scroll to right and you can see here total uh, multiple root tables are going to create so custom subnet one custom um, subnet the private one and this is like you know private uh, route private route public route and uh, via internet gateway right you can um, even it giving a nice visualization also right then go and click on create a vpc so that's it aws is going to create a vpc now right it's pretty quick right click on view vpc now a vpc got created let's go through the settings what exactly resource it created when you navigate to subnets you can see it created uh, four subnets two private subnets two public subnets and if you observe these subnets are spreading across uh, multiple availability zones right we have we got 59 usable ip addresses and you see here two created in ap south 1a two created in ap south 1b so technically we have one public subnet one private subnet in 1a one public subnet and one private subnet in 1b so then navigate to internet gateway one internet gateway got created that is attached to the vpc we created a minute back navigate to the root tables and we can find three root tables got created so custom root table public so the public subnets 
actually associated to this root table you see here custom public subnet 1 custom public subnet 2 both associated to so this um, root table and uh, if you observe the roots you can find internet gateway so this internet gateway is going to provide internet to these associated subnet resources now let's go and select the other private root tables also this is one of the private root table it just have local root and if we go to subnet association you can find only one private um, uh, subnet associated here so there is no NAT so there is no internet gateway so technically it just have only local communication with all the subnets created within the VPC but not to outside world and this also in similar manner it's created so in my opinion AWS can combine both right both are public both have only local routes no other additional settings so how exactly they have combined these two subnets under public in similar way they can combine these two privates also into the same root table all right um, so this is uh, what aws uh, newly introduced this uh, vpc creation wizard so you can go and you can start um, launching ec2 instances or databases in this custom vpc all right that's it for uh, this video guys thanks for watching